Once you end a class with students, you can come over to PearDuck.com, and when you log in, you'll be able to click on the Sessions tab. This is going to show any activities that you've done with your students. On the far right-hand side, you'll see three dots. Those three dots give you some options. The first is to reflect and review. This is a way to share your information out with your students or to generate takeaways or basically make a Google Doc for each student. If I choose to share to classroom, that means when I uh, click on this, it's going to ask me to identify the Google Classroom I want to share with and how I want to set that activity up. So more than likely, I'm going to choose my class and then I'm going to choose it as a materials because the students have completed the activity and I just want that data there for them to view. When I click go, it's going to submit this to my Google Classroom. You can fill out the information just like you normally do and then uh, post it when you're ready. When students view the data, they're only going to see their individual data along with your Pear Deck. So they'll have a comparison of the two. So right here is the activity I just posted. When I click on it, it's going to allow me to review the work. I didn't, this is not a, an activity that has any information on it, so you're not going to see the, re, the responses. But what would happen is the question would be on the left and the student's answer would be on the right. So the students would have that as a piece of information that they can use to study, to reflect, to um, use however they need to in the classroom. So that is how you do it with Google Classroom. If I go back to my Pear Deck session and I choose Generate Takeaways, what that's going to do is create a takeaway for each individual. So every single kid will have a Google Docs that will document your questions as well as their responses, whether it's text, uh, ABC Choice, drawings, however you've given it, then they, that's how it's going to look. You can also now share that in Google Classroom. So I can share that takeaway with my students as well as clicking on the takeaway, it's going to open up and you'll be able to see the responses. So if you take a look, it opened up your Google Drive and it created a Pear Deck formative assessment test one folder. So it creates all the folders for me. And if I want to find them in my Google Drive uh, without going this route, I can click on my drive and then look for Pear Deck. And then you'll see all of your activities that you have given to your students. Here's a takeaway and it creates a folder for each takeaway that I give them. And when I open it, I can see the students' responses as individuals. So if I open up this one here, I can see my students' responses, but if I want as a teacher, I can give a summary or share any additional information. So this is really helpful for those students that you're wanting to give feedback to or for parent meetings. It's a place where you can type how the student is doing and give them feedback on what they need to work on. And so this is an example of a slide that was interactive. It shows my slide. It shows how the student chose their answer and it shows the other options that the student could have chosen. So that's the other way that you can share it with your students. I'm going to cancel out of that. Now I'm going to go back in there to the drop down menu. And another way that you can do it is if you're giving your students like ABC choice or true false options, you can export to a spreadsheet. And what that's going to do is, is create you a spreadsheet and it's going to have all the data in there. Um, but it's not as helpful if you're using drawing tools or that kind of stuff. But if you're doing more of the ABC choices, you'll be able to see their answer choices from there and how they responded. And what's nice about this one is I can see all my students at once and I can look for patterns for my students um, and maybe where they've made mistakes or what they're doing well. And that will help me guide how I teach going forward.